Welcome to the Volkswagen SUVW Post Game Report. 20 to 10, Washington wins it. A happy 53rd birthday given by the Redskins to their owner, Dan Snyder. Players of the game, how about these three guys? Kirk Cousins, two touchdown passes, 242, hung in there through six sacks. Crowder, a huge night, seven catches, a TD, 141. Ryan Kerrigan on the other side. Let's go to the feast right now, in Michelle. Oh, yeah, this has turned into a party, Alan. I mean, everyone's joining in, and we'll... But the three guests of honor, Jameson, Kurt, Ryan, grab a turkey leg and, and dive into your first Thanksgiving morsel here. That's, oh, and that last one could go to, hey, the O-line can share that last one. There you go. Pass it around. You guys can share. <laughs> hey, Kurt. I got you. Here we go. First Thanksgiving game in Washington, hosted here, and you guys come away with a win. You're sacked six times. How do you endure all that and come away with the win? Oh, it was a grind. It always is. But uh, we kept battling. I, I just am proud of the resiliency our team showed. And this is obviously a fun moment. Yeah, you talk about the resiliency and the offensive line, in spite of all the pressure you were under. I mean, this was a banged up group. And, and they got got through it for you. Well, I was proud of the way they ran the football, especially in the second half. Did a great job running the ball, and uh, they protected well. And uh, we had a few, you know, slip-ups here and there, but some of them were covered sacks, where they covered well. And uh, those guys just kept playing, and, and they believe in me, and I believe in them, and it was a great, great night. They are having a good time with these turkey legs. Jamison Crowder, you know, you've been coming up with a lot of big plays and certainly came up with a few tonight. Finally got in the end zone for the first time this season. What was the first thing that went through your mind when you crossed that plane? Uh, it was just, I was just happy, uh, you know, just thankful, um, you know, to finally get in the end zone. Uh, it was a blessing. So hopefully I can continue to, uh, you know, play well uh, down the stretch and, you know, score a few more touchdowns for the season over with. A lot of little banged up on that knee, and you guys play a week from tonight. How do you, how do you think you're going to be? I think I'll be fine. Uh, I get my treatment and everything. Uh, you know, just got a little banged up, like you said, but I'll be fine. They hope you'll be fine. You've been big for them. Ryan Kerrigan. Two sacks tonight, and you guys did not allow the Giants' offense into the end zone. What was behind this performance? Uh, just a lot of grit from our guys this, uh, today. It was a short week. We knew we had to come out and uh, kind of set the tone, and we did that. And, you know, you guys were coming off that overtime loss, that devastating loss in New Orleans. Where do you think you all got the energy and the focus to do what you did tonight? Well, we knew we kind of let our team down last week against New Orleans and those two-minute drives at the end of the game. So we knew it was on us to play well tonight and get the job done, and that's what we did. How was the turkey? It's great. It's a great turkey. I'm taking this with me. Yeah, you guys can take the rest. I mean, there's certainly a lot of meat on the bone. Guys, <laughs> grab a game ball. Congratulations. I don't know where Jameson went. Oh, here he is. Take that with you. Congratulations, all three of you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Big party down here. I'll say, Ma Michelle, what, what John Madden hath wrought, the turkey leg. Who needs a trophy when you get a turkey leg? Back with more after this. Welcome back to the Volkswagen SUVW postgame report. From the 10, Roethlisberger throwing end zone. Antonio Brown, spectacular catch. Touchdown. Wow. And I do believe I saw my first ever helmet catch. <laughs> Is this a helmet catch, Mike? It's right against it, right? Please tell me that's a helmet catch. That was the Thursday nighter, which you... Uh, did with Mike Tarico in, in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, they're hitting on all cylinders right now. I know that's a great cliche, but they no other way to put it. Eight and two seem to have everything going the right way, and they get Green Bay on Sunday night. Well, they had a lot of good things working already. They had the defense going, the running game with Le'Veon Bell, and then all of a sudden, Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, Juju Smith shoot. The passing game woke up, and right now it is setting up. Steelers, Patriots, they'll meet here soon, but uh, the Steelers need to keep it going, and the Green Bay Packers need to get that momentum turned around, because even if Aaron Rodgers comes back, they have to leave him something to work with. Well, he conceivably we here could come back in week 16. That would be a game on a Saturday night. We'll do just before Christmas Eve against Minnesota. 
if they can get through this game, you know, they're looking ahead to Tampa Bay, Cleveland. They have some winnable games down the line. Who knows? But a big one, obviously, for them on, on Sunday night. Yeah, I just have to make it a little easier on Brett Hundley. He looked good on that opening drive and threw the pick in the end zone, and then all of a sudden it just sort of fell apart from there. All right. On to Pittsburgh. We'll get Steelers practice tomorrow. The game is Sunday night. Off we go. Another game on NBC as Washington wins tonight by a score of 20 to 10. Our gang up here, Andy Freeland, Malibu Kelly Hayes, George Hill, Melissa Horton, keeping us warm, keeping us fed on this Thanksgiving night. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Fred Gidelli, Jurassic off down in the truck. Our entire gang, Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle DeFoy saying good night from Landover, Maryland. Redskins beat the Giants.